It was a revelation that had car enthusiasts and industry insiders buzzing. Koji Sato, the CEO of Lexus, had recently unveiled plans to resurrect the iconic Lexus LFA. As the news spread, one could almost hear the collective gasp of admiration and anticipation. Here was a car that had left an indelible mark on the automotive world, and its potential return was nothing short of electrifying. To understand the significance of Sato's announcement, one must revisit the legacy of the original LFA. Launched in 2009, the Lexus LFA was not just another supercar. It was an audacious statement from Lexus, a brand traditionally associated with luxury and reliability. The LFA challenged the conventions and showcased Lexus's prowess in engineering, design, and performance. With its naturally aspirated 4.8-liter V10 engine, capable of producing 552 horsepower, and a chassis predominantly made of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, the LFA was an exemplar of cutting edge technology. Only 500 units were produced, which made it an even more exclusive possession for the lucky few. Given the rich legacy of the LFA, the decision to bring it back was a bold one. In his announcement, Koji Sato spoke about the brand's dedication to innovation and the continuous pursuit of perfection. He emphasized that the new LFA would not merely be a reiteration of the old, but a car that embodies the future of Lexus. The world has changed since the LFA's initial release, and so have the expectations of car enthusiasts and consumers. Electric vehicles, advanced driver assist technologies, and sustainability have become paramount. With the rebirth of the LFA, Lexus intends to harmoniously blend its iconic past with the demands of the future. While Sato remained tight-lipped about the specific details, the motoring community has been rife with speculations. Would the new LFA embrace electrification in some form, be it a hybrid or an all-electric model? Given the industry's rapid shift towards sustainability and electrification, it's a possibility many are considering. Furthermore, with Lexus's recent advancements in autonomous driving technology, could the new LFA incorporate some of these features without compromising its driver-centric experience? Resurrecting a legend is never easy. The LFA is not just a car. It's an emblem of what Lexus can achieve when it pushes boundaries. The challenge for Sato and his team will be to recapture the magic of the original while ensuring that the new LFA is relevant in today's automotive landscape. It will have to offer more than nostalgia. It will need to stand as a testament to Lexus's commitment to innovation, luxury, and performance in a world that's rapidly evolving. Moreover, the competitive landscape has also transformed. The supercar market today is teeming with offerings from various marks, each with its unique strengths. The new LFA will need to carve a niche for itself amidst fierce competition. Behind the original LFA was a spirit of collaboration that was groundbreaking for its time. Engineers, designers, and even musicians came together to sculpt not just the aesthetics, but also the very soul of the car. The engine's role was fine-tuned with the help of Yamaha's musical division to ensure it resonated just the right note. This commitment to holistic design and collaboration speaks volumes about Lexus's dedication to craft. If the new LFA is to truly capture the essence of its predecessor and elevate it to modern standards, this collaborative spirit will be essential. When the original LFA was launched, it was during an economically tumultuous period. The global recession of 2008 was still fresh in everyone's memory, and Lexus's decision to produce a supercar was seen by many as a defiant act of confidence. The context in which the new LFA is being introduced is different, but equally challenging with global uncertainties, supply chain disruptions, and a semiconductor crisis that has hit the automotive industry hard. Sato's decision to reintroduce the LFA during such times reflects Lexus's continued commitment to ambition and excellence, regardless of external challenges. Beyond the possible electrification and autonomous features, the new LFA might also incorporate cutting-edge materials and production techniques. Advances in carbon fiber technology, aerodynamics, and even tire compounds can make a significant difference in performance and efficiency. Lexus, with its track record of innovation, may employ these technologies to make the LFA a paragon of modern supercar design. Additionally, with the digital transformation sweeping the globe, the interior of the new LFA could feature state-of-the-art infotainment, connectivity, and user experience enhancements that cater to the modern driver. The revival of the LFA could also signal a broader trend in the automotive world, 
As brands grapple with the shift to electric and autonomous vehicles, there's a growing desire to reconnect with the passionate, emotional side of driving. The LFA, with its legendary status, could be the harbinger of a new era where manufacturers blend the allure of the past with the promises of the future. Such endeavors could help bridge the gap between traditional car enthusiasts and a new generation of drivers. In a world that is increasingly valuing experiences over possessions, luxury has taken on a new dimension. It's not just about having a fast car or a lavish interior, it's about the holistic experience that a brand offers its customers. The LFA, in its original form, was a testament to this evolving definition of luxury. It wasn't just its roaring V10 or the meticulous attention to detail in its design that captivated its audience, but the full-bodied sensation of driving it, the tactile feedback from the wheel, the symphony of its exhaust, and the sheer thrill of its acceleration. As Koji Sato leads the revival of this icon, redefining luxury in the context of modern demands will be paramount. Since the debut of the original RFA, the global automotive landscape has become even more interconnected. Brands are catering to an international audience more than ever, and regional preferences are influencing global designs. As the new RFA makes its foray into the market, understanding its position not just in traditional strongholds like the US and Japan, but also in emerging markets, will be crucial. There's a burgeoning class of affluent consumers in regions like Asia-Pacific, the Middle East, and parts of Africa, where the appetite for luxury supercars has grown considerably. Tapping into these markets could be pivotal for the LFA's success. One of the highlights of the original LFA's development was Lexus's collaboration with various partners, from material suppliers to tech companies. In the rapidly evolving automotive world, partnerships have become even more crucial. Whether it's sourcing the best EV batteries, integrating the latest AR tech into the dashboard, or collaborating with luxury brands for limited edition interiors, leveraging strategic partnerships could be a defining factor for the new LFA. We can expect Sato and his team to be actively seeking and nurturing such collaborations. The conversation around vehicles, especially high-performance ones, has changed significantly in recent years. Environmental considerations are at the forefront of consumers' minds, and the automotive industry is under increasing pressure to reduce its carbon footprint. The challenge for the new LFA, and indeed for all supercars of this era, is to deliver exhilarating performance while being environmentally conscious. Whether through hybrid technology, sustainable materials, or carbon-neutral production methods, the LFA has an opportunity to set a new benchmark for what a sustainable supercar can be. Today's consumers, especially the younger generation, are deeply embedded in the digital realm. From immersive AR and VR experiences to sophisticated AI integrations, the new LFA has a plethora of modern tools at its disposal. Integrating these in a way that enhances the driving experience without overwhelming the driver will be a delicate balancing act. It's not just about having the latest tech, but integrating it seamlessly and intuitively. Koji Sato's decision to reintroduce the Lexus LFA is a beacon of excitement and anticipation in the automotive world. It signifies more than just the revival of a model. It embodies the evolution of a brand and the industry as a whole. As we await further details and the eventual launch, it's evident that the LFA is poised to start a new chapter in the story history of Lexus, one that could potentially influence the trajectory of luxury performance vehicles for years to come. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. Until next time, see you later.